Hey, it's Mark from Mark and Michelle coming at you with my DDWDA, my daily driving with dumbass video. Again, disclaimer I do not consider myself to be unintelligent or you know, a dumbass. I've just done a lot of DA things in my lifetime and I'm learning from them by talking about them and, and talking through them and sharing with you what I'm learning. So if it'll help somebody, that's the whole goal. Even if it just helps one person, that's why I'm doing it. Uh, today I want to talk to you all. I want to talk to me about reactions. About reactions when you get some uh, bad news. Okay. Now, in the past, my reaction to bad news was to uh, clam up, turtle up, not deal with stuff, not to, uh, you know, just hope that it'll go away, not do anything to try to make it better, you know, and uh, that's that's what I did. That's not what I can do. That's, I cannot do that anymore. I know that. In fact, I might have known that then. I still, I still did it. And uh, you know, life, life, life's gonna happen. No matter what, life is going to always happen. And sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's really bad. But how I react to any of those situations will define. How I'm going to deal with them. Um, you know, like I said, usually it's just clam up, shut up, and hope it goes away. Well, you know that that, that got me into a lot, a lot of trouble at one point in my life, and I, I just can't do that. I'm not going to do it. You know, it's called taking responsibility for your actions. That's another thing, you know, when you know that it's your actions that cause the, the bad stuff to happen, even though other people are not blaming you, you're blaming yourself, right? And uh, you just start beating yourself up and you start getting on that, that pity pot, the self-pity, uh, whatever you want to call it, poor me, poor me, you know, life's not fair. Well, you know what, life's not fair. I think we all know that. Um, but what is fair is learning how to uh, how to deal with things, how to adapt to things, how to use that faith. You know, you, I've been talking about growing faith and, and believing in you know in miracles. And I've seen them. I've seen my my spirituality you know grow. And you know, left to my own devices, I can lose it all in, in an instant. I can forget who's in charge. I think I can forget who's been working miracles in my life. And it's not me. You know, it's it's a higher power who I choose to call God. Um, I'm not ashamed of it. I believe in God. I believe God will give us the prosperity that we deserve. All of us. Everybody. But you got to take initiative you gotta take steps you gotta do the right thing right you gotta you gotta try you gotta at least try and you know for too long I, I didn't even try and you know just a little while ago I got some some news that was not happy news um, in fact it, it was pretty bad but and, and my I could feel myself just like you know, clamming up, turtling up, wanting to go into my little my little shell, and, and, and you know, it, you get that that anxiety instantly comes in, and then you know, I I looked up to the sky, and you know, and I just said, hey, you're in charge. You know, I'm giving this to you. I can't handle it. You know, and uh, I'm not saying everything worked out immediately, but. It is going to work out. I know it is going to work out. I'm telling myself that, and I'm telling the people involved that that will watch this. 
that it is going to work out. Don't know how, but it will. So anyway, but yeah, it's up to you to take take some initiative, take charge of your life. You know, people are going to let you down. The workplace is going to let you down. Your boss is going to let you down at some point. It's almost a guarantee. But you know, to me, you can't let yourself down if you're walking with a higher purpose and with a higher power. So that's my message for today. Went a little long, but I needed to get that out. I needed to say it out loud so the universe could hear it. And move on, move forward. Not move on, move forward and deal with what we have to deal with, like that pothole. So uh, make it a great day. I will talk to you tomorrow. I wasn't going to do this because I was going to sit in my sitting my shit and stew all day but that's that's what I used to do that's when I was a dumbass so we're not dumbasses anymore make it a great day bye